blackberries, blueberries, raspberries. The sweet side of Nevada, right here at the Jacobs Family Berry Farm. Diana. Hey, how are you? Good, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Jack, how are you? Welcome to our berry farm. Meet Jack and Diana Jacobs, the owners of this little piece of heaven since 2002. So I saw the barn. I got to take a look at that first. Do you mind? I'd love to. Let's go do it. Great, Jack. I'll see you in just a minute. Okay. We'll talk berries. In the late 1880s, a newlywed couple from Germany bought this land and slowly expanded it into the farm it is today. These doors, they're enormous. They are, aren't they? They made things big and strong. And you know, if you look carefully up at the beams, it's put together with pegs. There's, there are no nails. So the public can come and see this as well? Mm -hmm. Yes, and we do weddings in here. So a lot of the public has been in here having a good time. Now, what is this over here with well, the this, belts? and? This is essentially a little conveyor belt. The grain would be dumped into here. The belt would take it up into a chute, a diagonal chute that would take it over into this building part, which is a grain ring. And there's one on the other side too, so the, the chute could swing over to either side. And then what happens? The, the grain goes up. up. It goes into the granary, and they would sell in this drive-through portion of the barn. Come, you can lift it up, and the grain would come out into the bags, and they pay for it. Even back then, they had drive throughs They did. Isn't that fun? A drive through in the 1800s? I guess some things never change. This barn is magnificent, but it's huge. How big is it? It's over 5,000 square feet. <laughs> when do you ever see that? <laughs> never. Never see never that. Never see oh, that. beautiful. Yeah. There was a lot going on at the ranch. 20 farmhands worked here tending to the creamery, livestock, and agriculture, as well as cutting and selling ice. Boy, there's just a, a whole story behind this, isn't there? There is. There is. The, the family that was here had eight children, and they all worked the ranch, and everybody worked so hard in those days. The animals, you know, did the, the heavy lifting with the wagons, but it was, it was both fun and hard work for that family. Boy, everything that's just come around since then, everything that's yes. happened, but it's still standing here. Yeah, it's just the yeah. circle of life, and isn't it? It is. Family and friends, that's what it's all about. And this, this barn has really been a big part of that for the, in the valley for a long time. Well, speaking of family, I think Jack's waiting. Let's oh, go see him. Let's go see him. <laughs> <laughs> this barn is just a berry on top. Now I better go see what makes this farm so famous. This was an alfalfa field, and we knew it was a lot of work to take care of an alfalfa, and we didn't get much from it. I thought, what better to grow here than berries? My grandkids love berries. Everybody loves berries. So that's, I did a lot of study, research, find out exactly what to do, and now we have a berry field. And what's the season, and when do people start showing up? So July through September is our peak season for, for selling berries. And over here you see our raspberries, and over here you see our blackberries. We pick them when they're exactly ripe. We don't have to pick them early, we wait until the exact day. We go through every day here and find the best berries for that day, pick them, sell them, and then the next day we look for some more fresh ones, pick them and sell them. Now, now how do you know the exact day of these berries? So when they're really ripe, they'll have Let's say it's a blackberry. A blackberry turns really black, then it starts to turn opaque, and then it's soft, kind of like your skin. Uh, then when you pull it, it comes off very easily. But the key is, then you taste it. So you get a sense of what's the best way to, to pick a berry through your tasting of the berry and verify that. So our, our pickers really love this process. Was this a good way to retire? It's great, <laughs> it's great. We have a lot of fun. The Jacobs Farm produces up to 2,000 pounds of berries every year. The berries that aren't sold fresh become jams and jellies during the off season. Tell me a little bit more about what all is involved in growing berries. You gotta have bees. Oh, bees are critical to our operation here, John. Here, for instance, are beehives that our beekeeper maintains, but each one of these houses thousands of bees, and those bees go out in the field. And did you realize that on a berry with all these little bubbles, we call them duplets, Every one of those had to have been pollinated by one of these bees. And then they bring them back here and they make the most wonderful honey, which we sell here on the farm. Each little bubble on a berry, each one has to be pollinated. Yes. Yeah. That's yes. a lot of work. Can you imagine? So how would that happen without the benefit of these bees? How many bees do you think you have? Oh, thousands, thousands. Bees pollinate about 70% of the crops that feed nearly the entire world. 
So the honey that comes from these bees is quite unique, and people say it tastes a bit like our berries. No kidding. They, they sort of have a, a similar flavor. They brought the flavor from the berry field to the honey. The farm is all about the berries. Even the honey tastes like them. And now, for the best part of my day, I'm gonna pick up some product. What do, you, what do you got here? What do you recommend? Well, we have some essence, which is a syrup, but it's more than a syrup. It's, it's a whole pint of berries in each one of those jars. And we have jams, which is 70% berries, and only 26%, they're really low on sugar. And of course, we have our honey from our farm. You know what, I'm gonna go with the essence. I'm gonna go with the red raspberry essence. Oh, you'll love it, you'll love it. Don't this forget to put some on your ice cream. Oh, you know I'll do that. My pancakes, everything else. You got it. Thank Enjoy. you so much for well, your time Thanks for coming. Today. I have had the time of We've my life. We've had fun too, thank you. By getting to know the Jacobs, I get to take home more than raspberry essence. I take the essence of the whole farm. The history, the family, the landscape, this is what Outdoor Nevada is all about.